Hello, and welcome to the Muburn College of Earth and Energy Convocation Ceremony. I'm Mike Stice, Dean of Muburn College. Today, we gather in this unique virtual ceremony to recognize students who, by both their dedication and ability, have reached an important milestone in their academic pursuits. It is my great pleasure to present the Class of 2020. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Muburn College, we congratulate you. I would like to share with you some important information about our graduates, our college, and our university. OU has produced 30 Rhodes Scholars and has received the prestigious Davis Cup Award six times. We are the only university in the nation, public or private, whose students have won the Goldwater, the Mitchell, the Truman, the Rhodes, the Marshall, the Fulbright, and the National Security Education Program Scholarships all in one year clearly evidence of our commitment to academic excellence. At the Muburn College, we are a center of excellence for education and research in earth sciences and engineering, with an emphasis on energy and environmental stewardship. We pride ourselves on preparing our students to address the issues of today and tomorrow, and embracing the global competition they will experience throughout their careers. This year, the college had more than 281 undergraduate students and 169 graduate students who were educated by more than 40 faculty. Our diverse faculty and student body represents over 40 countries. The quality of our students is outstanding. More than half of our students achieved the distinction of the Dean's Academic Honor Roll, which means their GPA was 3.0 or higher. This year, there were many noteworthy accomplishments from Muburn's college's professional associations. We don't have time to list them all, but I'd like to tell you about two of them. The Society of Exploration Geophysicist Student Chapter was named Best Student Chapter Worldwide. Students in the Society of Petroleum Engineers won first place in the SPE Petro Bowl North American Qualifier and are now moving on to the international competition. I would be remiss if I didn't stop to honor an important group of our students, our graduate students. It is the Muburn College graduate program that enhances our performance in the classroom, increases the quality and quantity of our publications, and ensures that our research efforts lead the conversation. Thank you, grad students. Among the many achievements made by graduate students this year is Colin Pennington who was awarded the prestigious United States Geological Survey Mendenhall Research Fellowship Program. Students, you represent a major investment, and with that comes expectations. We expect greatness from each and every one of you. To those who provide the impressive support to our students, I want to thank you. I am confident that you have made a worthwhile investment. Our faculty have been recognized both at home and abroad for their contributions to the fields of earth sciences and petroleum engineering. From the Muburn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, Dr. Chandra Rai was selected as the 2020 Distinguished Member for the Society of Petroleum Engineers. Dr. Ahmed Ghassimi received a $2.5 million grant to develop ways to make geothermal energy less expensive and more productive. In the School of Geosciences, sponsored faculty research projects were at their highest of last year's. Associate Professor Chao Wei Chen was awarded the University of Oklahoma Stubbeman Drace Presidential Professorship in recognition of her commitment to professional service and to her students. The Oklahoma Geological Survey welcomed a new director, Dr. Nick Heyman. He's already charting exciting new paths for our own OGS. 2020 will be remembered by most of us as the year of the pandemic and the monumental adjustments required of our students, our faculty, and our staff. What you achieved in such adversity is truly phenomenal. This year has required adjustments, flexibility, and creativity. I want to tell you about just one of the ways Muburn College faculty made quick changes to help our students succeed this year. When it became evident that closings were going to extend into the summer, we realized we had a problem that would impact many of our seniors. 
In the School of Geosciences, field camp is a graduation requirement, and as are our internships for petroleum engineering students. These are elements deemed necessary by academic accreditors and are therefore non-negotiable, pandemic or not. Suddenly, a handful of our students were at risk of not graduating on time. At this point, I'm incredibly proud of what happened next. Dr. Shannon Doolin in the School of Geosciences turned field camp into a virtual experience. Untethered to the terrain of Canyon City, Colorado, students virtually explored geological formations across the nation and even on the moon. Dr. Doolin's achievement is being hailed as a success by both students and other geoscience programs around the nation. Likewise, David Ferris and his team at the college's Irani Center for Energy Solutions worked with energy companies to create real-world, real-time projects for those students whose internships were canceled. In all, 19 petroleum engineering and two geoscience students worked in externship teams where they provided solutions to companies throughout the region and secured their internship credits. What our faculty did in record time and with a slew of limitations because of COVID is simply amazing. Some of you are here graduating today because of the, this incredible feat. Thank you, faculty, for all you do. Every graduate success depends on the emotional and financial support of family and friends. Joining us online today are many who would have made the trip to Norman to celebrate with their graduates and acknowledge the hard work that led to today. We appreciate you joining us here virtually. Now I'd like to speak specifically to our graduates. Today is different from most graduation ceremonies. You may be wearing your graduation regalia or you may be a little less formal. It does not matter. Today you are taking your place in a ceremony that has spanned more than 1,000 years. Its significance isn't in the pomp and circumstance, but in the meaningful ways college graduates throughout the ages have contributed to the onward march of human civilization. The Mewburn College faculty and staff have enjoyed providing you with a set of tools and experiences to guide you. And now you are ready. We wish you well as you embark, just as the graduates for centuries before you, to fulfill your dreams and make the world a better place. Second, I want to stress that today is not the end of your journey, but rather the beginning. The world awaits your many contributions. Although your time here was indeed important in order to lay the foundation, the future is yours to make. I am excited about the possibilities for you individually and for society as a whole. These are uncertain times, but still I want to encourage you to begin your journey with confidence. Use the knowledge you gained here. You are prepared to fulfill all your dreams and realize your full potential. Your ultimate success, however, will depend on your ability to adapt to change. You will experience many changes in your lifetime. Science and technology will continue to evolve, making continuous education an absolute necessity to achieve your goals. For this reason, I ask that you remain committed to a lifetime of learning. Finally, take a moment and think about all the great friends you have made here. Make a vow to maintain these relationships and stay in touch. At the University of Oklahoma, we teach you to be selfless rather than self-centered. We are more interested in building rich and long-lasting personal relationships by practicing forgiveness rather than revenge. As global citizens, we want you to model interpersonal reconciliation and not foment personal conflict. As Sooners, we believe the content of your character is more important than the color of your skin or your geographic origin. We hope you have learned that life is not about you, but about serving and caring for others. Relationships are so very important. If you focus on serving and caring for others, your journey is guaranteed to be a happy one. Remember, each and every one of you are truly awesome. You are Sooners. All the people that come to know you in the future will be better off as a result. Thank you for sharing these important years with us. It is now my pleasure to present the graduation candidates from the College of Earth and Energy. At this time, 
I would like to make one last observation. You all, petroleum engineers and geoscientists alike, will be asked to play a key role in protecting the environment. There is a need to consider not only our energy needs, but our environment. There is an increasing importance being placed on moving forward, creating a sustainable, more socially responsible world. I fully expect you, our graduates, to play an important role towards this aim. Your education here at the University of Oklahoma has prepared you to meet the broadest of challenges, and I call on you to apply your talents and skills towards being good stewards of our environment. On behalf of the University of Oklahoma and as Dean of the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy, I acknowledge you as recipients of doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. If you are wearing your graduation cap, it is appropriate at this time to move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left as a symbol of having achieved the honored status of graduate of the University of Oklahoma. Congratulations. This concludes the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy Convocation Ceremony. Please now join us for the OU chant. Okay. Of cash.